And so uh, we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we uh, celebrate the feast of St. Matthew, a tax collector, a most uh, hated individual in his uh, time, a collaborator with the invading forces. And uh, Jesus uses uh, Matthew's life as uh, an example um, about judgment. We are not called to judge anybody about anything. Um, uh, well, however we judge other people is how we're going to be judged on the last day ourselves, and for that reason, uh, we shouldn't be judging anybody. And actually, if we walk through uh, the uh, past uh, lives that we've enjoyed, uh, we have found that some people that we knew, loved, and trusted, and um, we've been let down uh, severely by them, and also others that we really, really struggled with, and they have uh, become uh, maybe some of the best of our friends. Um, and instead of judgment, Jesus, I just simply asked us uh, to love, uh, to care, and to forgive, not just seven times, but 70 times seven, because eventually, as I've seen with so many uh, homeless uh, drug users, that little bit of love can make all the difference that can transform somebody's life immensely. And of course, we're all ready for transformation and transfiguration ourselves. So for the times when we haven't been that forgiving, we say sorry, and for God's uh, mercy, compassion, and forgiveness of us, we give you were sent to preach the good news of light and the darkness of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You were sent to plant in our hearts a seed of eternal life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were sent to reconcile us to yourself by the shedding of your blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon, forgive, and free you from your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in life eternal. And uh, bring you in all goodness to life with Jesus. Amen. And so together we pray. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you. We give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father. Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. And you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. So let us pray. O Almighty God, whose blessed Son, called Matthew, the tax collector, to be an apostle and an evangelist, give us grace to forsake the selfish pursuit of gain and the possessive love of riches. That we may follow in the way of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So let's hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. As he sat at dinner in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when Jesus heard this, he said, those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick, go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice, for I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So let's declare our faith in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as together we pray. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. So, let's... Uh, Pray for ourselves and for our world. 
Father, your Son called men and women to leave the past behind. He also asks us to follow him as his disciples in the way of the cross. And we ask you to look with mercy upon all whom he calls today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Your son told his disciples not to be afraid, and at Easter breathed on them his gift of peace. And we ask you to look with mercy upon the world that uh, he sent them out to, and in which we live today. We ask you, Lord, to bring it pardon and a peace wherever there is a discord in our own homes, uh, nationally and internationally. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And your son formed around him a company who are no longer servants but friends, and he called all those who try to obey him his brother and sister and mother. So we ask you to look with mercy upon all of our families, our friends, and the communities in which we live. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus has sent the disciples out to preach and to heal the sick. And we ask you to look with mercy on those who yearn to hear the good news of salvation, and those who are eager for some kind of healing, from a physical illness, a mental illness, or a spiritual illness. And we pray for caregivers in each of those settings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And uh, Jesus promised to those who followed him that they would uh, sit on thrones in heaven. So we ask you to look with mercy uh, now, Lord, on all those who've died in recent times and those whose anniversaries occur at this time. We pray for all who are still struggling with the loss of a loved one. We pray that they will be comforted. May the souls of the faithful and the not so faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Holy God, receive all we bring before you this day, and bring us also to that radiant glory which we see in the transfigured face of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. And now we give you thanks because your Son, Jesus Christ, after his resurrection, sent forth his apostles and evangelists, to preach the gospel to all nations and to teach us the way of truth. So with angels and archangels we join in the unending hymn of praise as we too say together, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Father of all, we give you thanks for every gift that comes from heaven. On the night before he died, Jesus shared a meal with his friends. He took bread and thanked you. He broke it, gave it to them, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. After the meal, Jesus took the cup of wine, he thanked you and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood, the new promise of God's unfailing love. Do this to remember me. Father, as we bring this bread and wine and remember his death and resurrection, send your Holy Spirit, that we who share these gifts may be fed by Christ's body and his blood. 
Pour your spirit on us that we may love one another, work for the healing of the earth, and share the good news of Jesus as we wait for his coming in glory. For honour and praise belong to you, Father, with Jesus, your Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. And being made one by the power of the Holy Spirit, just as Jesus taught us, so we are able to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. For though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in the one bread. Amen. The body of Christ broken for us. The blood of Christ shed for us. So let us pray. Lord God, the source of truth and love, keep us faithful to the teaching and fellowship of the apostles, united in prayer and the breaking of bread, and one in joy and simplicity of heart, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And together we pray. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit, to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. God, who has prepared for you a city with eternal foundations, bring you with the saints to the eternal and triumphant joy of that city. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ we will. Amen.